Today, dozens of soldiers from here in Ohio face that reality head on as they set off on their mission overseas. 10 TV's Brittany Bailey and photojournalist Evan Huddle brings us the scenes from their call to duty. These soldiers loading onto the buses behind me know their training and know their mission. What they don't know is if they may face something like what we're seeing right now in Afghanistan. You know that this stuff's going to happen when you join. It's just a matter of when and where. But it's that unknown that can be the hardest. Just trying to pay attention to what's going on and, and hope that, you know, where they're going are safe and you know, they come back. It's hard to see all this happening right before she goes. Yes. Very, very hard. 80 or so soldiers from all over Ohio are headed overseas to support U.S. Central Command. They're known as the Black Sheep, and they say they're ready. It's an honor to do, um, so something I'm excited to and look forward to the challenge. Ready for a mission is one thing. Ready to say goodbye is quite another. It's hard seeing people cry. It's part of the journey. Emotional, proud, um, anxious, um, excited for coming home, already focused on that. Um, and more than anything, privileged to be his mom. Yeah, it'll be sad, I'll be sad, but it's all good. I still gotta do it. My heart goes out to every soldier, every family, every child. Um, just thinking that I know that these days ahead of them are going to be filled with a lot of, you know, anxiety and and, and um, wondering where their soldier is. And, and so I, I pray for each and every one of them to be able to um, trust in God and that, you know, the day that they come home safe and sound mentally and physically is soon. These soldiers behind me will be deployed for about a year for Operation Inherent Resolve until they get to come back to another scene like this, this time coming home. Reporting in Zanesville, Brittany Bailey, 10 TV News. Well, the soldiers deploying today are from all over Ohio, but are based in McConnellsville. Their deployment was actually planned months ago, and it's not in response to the recent events in Afghanistan.